there's another stage when we're looking at division. This is looking at a division problem that will have a remainder. So again, we've got 317 divided by 5, but we're going to write the remainder as a quotient. That basically just means we're going to write the remainder as a fraction. So we do it in exactly the same way, making sure the children know the times table that they're using. So how many fives in three? It won't go. How many fives in 31? That's six with one remainder. How many fives in 17? Which is three. And we've got two left over. So we've got two. And because we're dividing by five, we've got two divided by five, which equals two fifths as the line between the two and the five, which is often denominates a fraction is really a divide.